Are you ready? I'm going to let you in on a little secret. We, as Americans, and most other world citizens for that matter, pay for our weather. Huh? Yeah, the weather. The thing that ruins picnics or rains on your wedding day, but at the same time makes a trip to the beach or a snow day all that much better. But why would our government spend hundreds of millions of dollars paying meteorologists to study and report the weather? I know what all of you think of meteorologists. I've Googled it. And full disclosure, I'm a meteorologist, Jason Myers. But before all you deficit hawks, budget earmarkers, and pork barrel who's a what's it's, start calling your congressman, hear me out. We want our weather costs covered, and here's why. Our tax dollars go to an agency within the government called the National Weather Service. The UK has the Met Office, Canada has Environment Canada, the list goes on. The National Weather Service is the primary source of weather data, forecasts, and warnings for the United States. They're part of a larger organization called NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. All of this is lumped into the US Department of Commerce. Wait, what? What's weather got to do with commerce? Look at it this way. Every day, millions of weather-based economic decisions are made in agriculture, when to plant, harvest, etc. Transportation, hurricanes disrupt shipping routes or snow and ice can shut down highways. Power, no electricity if a tornado takes down the power lines and other sectors of the economy. Understanding the weather is everything from the small personal decisions like, should I bring my umbrella today? And big government planning decisions like, will we have enough crops to feed people? This is why Americans spend a billion dollars a year, roughly five dollars per person on the National Weather Service, to improve our weather forecast so we can better prepare ourselves when bad weather's about to hit and get the economy up and running once the weather's good again. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like it, subscribe to our channel, and comment below why you like learning about the weather.